Good morning, I am Scipio, the Cardboard Gambler, and today I've got a Hydro Pump Mystery Box. Uh, for those that don't know, in the video description of every video, I shout out the uh, Hydro Pump uh, Discord, their shop, um, the two atoms. I'm a moderator on their Discord, and I buy into a lot of pack breaks. Um, but shout out to Hydro Pump, I won a random drawing. I think I had a 3% chance. And um, I got this mystery box. I think they retail for like a hundred bucks. It says four packs, one in 10, a vintage, one in five, contain a graded card, an online code card, and a pin. So I have seen like a video um, of someone like opening like a jungle box. I wanted this video to have a little bit of link, so these are readily available, so I grabbed a few. Um, I like the packs inside. I think like one in three of these tins have a hit. So I kind of wanted to open a few of these and then I'll get into that mystery box and maybe I can pull something awesome. But uh, they just did a mega break and like every time you buy into the mega break, you get an entry into a, um, a random drawing to get one of those. And I think I had a 2% chance and I, I hit it. So shout out to the Hydro Pump. Um, they get all of my bulk and I use that bulk to uh, open lots of magical cardboard. So oh, here we go, Chilling Pain. Let's see if I can get anything awesome. Usually not with these tins, not, not with uh, the Chilling Rain. And I got Thick Thighs. So pack one is a bust. I got two of these. Um, I, I might not hit anything to be honest, but we'll see. I think um, if you can find them at Dollar General, they're actually a pretty good deal. And I do, I like the pack selection. So here we go, Eevee, Sigu, Sigu, and a Toxicroak. Shout out to Toxicroak Gaming. So down to an Evolving Skies. See if I can get that uh, Moonbreon. I think is what they call it. I didn't see anything poking out at me, so I'm gonna say 10 number one was a duddy. So Psyduck. Eevee again, cutie fly, ice cube thingy, and a foil uh, Zerud. So I, I grabbed two tins. First tin was a dun, dud. Now I've got the Mimikyu tin. Things are kind of hard to open. Let me try to see if I can't get these codes out. So here we go. Here is the code Mysterious, Mighty Mysterious Tin Mimikyu. Then we got our chilling, infusion, and evolving. So hopefully this one's not a dud too. I'd say like one in three tens have had like a, a hit, like a V or better. So I'm gonna say chilling pain's got nothing. But here we go, crab brawler, golet, porygon, rookie, coughing, and chilling pain with nothing. Went over with the pain. Chilling Pain lives up to his reputation. So Fusion Strike, I'm missing both the Mew Ults and the Mew Rainbow, and I've never pulled the SBR. And the only Gengar I've pulled has been out of one of these tins, the Gengar VMAX Alt. So Fusion Strike has not been my friend. So a Swampert Rare and a Blissey. Things are not looking good. <laughs> Things are not looking good. I think there's a trainer card, like VIP Battle Pass from Fusion Strike. That's like a $4 card. So like, look out for that. So last pack, I didn't see anything poking out at me. Dream Ball, and of course, if you open enough Evolving Skies, you get one of the Apple Pokemon. So didn't start off on the right foot, but I do want to get into this mystery box. And oh, looks like I got something great it what? so here we go I got a code uh, shining fates there we go and I got the birds nine centering I think this is the base set birds 9.5 there we go you don't see too many tens that's for sure I, I stopped submitting cards to these and I don't I don't have this uh, slabbed up so there we go I got a graded card so I think I've already kind of beat the odds uh, Let's see. Got celebrations. Sun and Moon base. So 
Sun and Moon base again. Sun and Moon base again. Boy, that's a, a roughy. And another celebrations. And a pin. So I got a Mewtwo pin. I believe this is from Hidden Fates Mewtwo pin collection. So I did get a graded card. That was kind of rough. Three triple Sun and Moon base. So let's see with three packs if I can get anything awesome. I talk a lot of trash about Sun and Moon base, but I've actually um, pulled some pretty insane cards out of here. So let's see if I can uh, end the day with a hit <laughs> with something awesome. So a skirt skit. You got the uh, Trump. Got a cool looking Kangaskhan and a Hollow Crobat. So I don't really count the Hollow Rares, but Rainbow Energy. There we go. Sun and Moon Base is not my favorite. This awesomest set, but it's, it's not that bad. It's not that great, but it's not that bad. I'd rather open this than like Rebel Clash. And I'm kind of over uh, Battle Styles too. So Alolan Diglett, Bound Sweet, Crumbobitable Reverse Rare with a Primarina. I thought it was going to be Reverse Crumbobitable with a regular one, but ugh. So there we go. Pack Dose. And last pack with an Incineroar on it. Let's see if I can get it. Anything, I'm not seeing anything poke out at me. This might be kind of a sad opening. So here we go. Wingle, Stuffle, Poplio, Morlul, and a Stoutland. It is all on celebrations. Here we go. And there's a triple green code. So here we go. This one feels kind of thickish. I haven't opened celebrations in a while. It was like every other opening and then it just kind of like magically dried up. So here we go, here we go. Got something, got all Luxray. So I didn't get skunked upside down so Galeo. I have seen some like wicked errors on these things. So one card in the Happy Land pile right towards the end. And let's see if I can double up. Let's see if I can get that elusive gold Mew. The only card in the set I've never pulled. So here we go, Kyogre, Cosmog, Lugia, with the flying Pikachu, Wampa Domps. So there we have it. I did get a graded card, got a triple Sun and Moon base, and uh, Celebrations gave me some hits. So thank you so much for watching, and until next time, bye for now.